Hi guys and welcome to this week's video down on the allotment. When I left the house this morning the weather was gorgeous and the sun was shining however now the wind has picked up a little bit and it's a bit more chilly so I'm hoping the sun is going to come back out and keep me warm. So today's plan is to finally harvest and weed around the area of my onions. I did take down one of my bean and pea structures yesterday um, but there wasn't, I didn't feel enough content on there to film a whole video just of that. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a snapshot of some filming that I did do yesterday um, in the glorious sunshine. Also today I'm finally hoping to harvest a big load of potatoes if my back can handle it after digging up all the onions. But I really want to see all of my main crop under there and see what's going on and hopefully have a lot to take home and plenty to dry out for the winter. So I'm hopefully going to be doing all of those things today. Um, obviously I can show you the bean footage now and hopefully by the time that is done I will be able to show you the onions and digging up the onion patch today as well. I'm hoping to give it a really really good weed and then just before I go home I will be obviously like I said digging up the potatoes. Fingers crossed I'll be able to manage it all but we'll see. Um, besides that I hope you're all really well it's lovely to be back at the allotment again um, like I say I came up yesterday and did the bean structure the pea structure got that taken down and that area is now totally clear as well so hopefully I can show you some footage of that um, just a bit of a, a what shall I call it um, like I don't know just a, a quick scan of the whole area so now once the um, the onions are done and the beans are done you'll be able to see it all nice and clear and ready for the winter hopefully we're going to get some manure to put on the patch over winter i am really struggling to get hold of garlic this year as well so if anyone's got any ideas um, i really wanted elephant garlic this year and i knew that sort of october is the time to put them in but I'm really struggling to get hold of any. So if anyone knows anywhere I can get some particularly elephant garlic, I'd really, really appreciate it. But let's just get cracking. I'll show you the footage of the bean structure being taken down now, and then I will go on to show you my onions. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. The structures are down now. It did take a lot of work. Um, I only filmed one because I didn't want to bore you um, with three. But all three are now down. I have weeded the area and I'm now going to move on to showing you my onion harvest and how much I have managed to get this year. The patch is very weedy. I will uh, warn you in advance. I haven't been up to the plot before last week for some time um that's due to personal circumstances um i just haven't uh look, well, how should i put it i haven't been emotionally in the right place to come up to the allotment 
but I am starting to feel a bit better and I have realized that actually being around nature and being outside and just letting my sort of clearing my head actually does work wonders and it's far better for your mental well-being than being sat inside constantly thinking things over so I'm glad to be back I am staying back you know I'm trying to come up here again another two or three or four times a week should the weather let it before the autumn and winter really sets in so here's a clip now of me doing my onions and then I am going to dig up the potatoes Now I've basically left the onions to their own devices for the summer and I'm now ready to pull the majority of them up, if not all of them. Um, and that will give me the chance to give the whole area a good weed and be prepared for next year. <laughs> Well, the sun has completely given up now. I got the onion patch done and the weather was nice. However, it hasn't lasted. Please also don't judge the potato patch. I know you've probably never seen as many weeds on a patch like this in your life ever. But the potatoes did fine. The plants have now died back. There's actually seven rows still to dig up. I've not dug up many at all this year. So I'm gonna get to it. Um, and it looks like I've got plenty of onions and potatoes to be drying out in the shed. Um, it's roosters I want to dig up today. Albert Bartlett rooster potatoes are my absolute favourite. So that is this row here. So hopefully we'll get loads of nice red potatoes. Always remember with your potatoes, I'm sure I said it in the uh, earlier in the summer when I dug up my charlottes. Please remember not to dig directly where the plant is. Always try and dig around it. Else you might put your fork through it. But fingers crossed guys.
well I hope you've seen enough of my potatoes now um, that last section of the clip um, was just one plant and as you can see well you saw there's about 12 potatoes um, here they're all um, relatively good size too they're not really diddy and I, was, I, I always grow Albert Bartlett rooster potatoes I always find just to be really good croppers they always just seem to produce this year has been particularly challenging with the weather um, the weather didn't know what it was doing it was hot then it was cold I put my potatoes out um, back in April and then in the middle of May we got a really big snap frost um, for two nights and the first night it, we didn't expect it and we came back and half of the foliage on the potatoes had gone black so it had been damaged by the frost we then found out there was going to be another frost the next day so we ran up here and closhed and covered and did as much as we possibly could to try and save the potatoes um, potatoes were actually the reason that I took on an allotment. I absolutely love potatoes. Like, they're my favourite thing in the whole world. I'd pick potatoes over chocolate any day. And anyone that knows me lo knows that I absolutely love mashed potato. It is my favourite thing on the planet. So the reason that I grew, got an allotment, sorry, was so I could grow potatoes. So I was really disappointed when the frost had obviously you know damaged my potato plants and I was absolutely gutted um, last year it was the first year I had the plot and I only grew three rows of potatoes so I did a row of Charlotte and two rows of roosters and they lasted me probably I think I started digging up in July I gave plenty to family and friends and I probably used them all just after Christmas um, I felt I could have, if I'd had one more row, that would have got me through the whole year, but not quite. So this year I've moved up from three rows to eight, so it's substantially more, but obviously the plants did get damaged. So I'm really happy, really, really happy with these roosters. Um, if you watch one of my earlier videos, you will have seen I dug up some charlottes and some, oh goodness me, let me think, I think they were rocket salad potatoes um, the Charlotte's again great cropper for me where we are in Norfolk the rockets were fine um, I wasn't overly impressed the Charlotte's one for me hands down but I still have um, salad potatoes still under the ground for those of you who don't know salad potatoes don't store particularly well so dig them up as you need them don't be tempted to dig up the whole row they don't keep for as long and they are they're not their best um, main crops will store well you just need to dry them out first in in the shed or just get the dirt off just make sure that if you are going to store them particularly like me I will get to a point in sort of November where I want to turn the entire bed over ready for spring and put manure down so I will dig up everything um, I like to work my way through the salad potatoes during the summer and the autumn and then as we get to winter I like my main crops so if you are going to store them just make sure that you don't store any potatoes that have got any fork holes or are damaged at all um, because then if they start to turn you know it could affect the rest of your potatoes so just um, dry out dust off the mud when it's dry and you can put them in sacks or bags or even a box with newspaper in and they'll store really well for a few months um, obviously the ones you put your fork through you know everyone has accidents I did it with one over on the first plant I picked after I told you to be careful I put my fork through one um, if you have got them with forks damage just take them home use those first doesn't mean you can't eat them just give them a good wash because it's likely you'll have put mud all the way through the potato so just give them a good wash, take them home, use them first, and they should be absolutely fine. They shouldn't taste any different, but just make sure you save your good potatoes for storage. Um, I don't think there's anything further I wanted to share with you this episode. I'm just going to show you the patch. 
like I said, where I've now got rid of all the beans and all the peas and all the onions and it's looking really, really good. There are a few cosmos there still growing um, and I'm going to leave them because they just look nice. The allotment is starting to die back now. It's starting to look like it's getting ready for the winter. I've still got plenty of brassicas. I have got Brussels sprout and cabbage central over there. Maybe I will do some work on the brassicas in the next allotment video. Um, but for now, as always, if you like this video, please give me a like and you can always subscribe to my channel as well. For my regular followers, you'll see my posts um, on Instagram and Facebook all the time. If you don't follow me on there yet, I will leave my details above for you to do so. I do try and post daily. It is usually just allotment spam, um, flowers, veggies, things I've made with my allotment produce. But for now, for this week, please, as always, stay safe, look after each other, and I'll see you all very, very soon. So, as promised, ignoring this bit, just need to finish the edge off. Um, this is where the beans and peas were, as you can see, all now totally raked and cleared and all ready for the winter. And here is where the onions were earlier in the video so all good all done and uh, yeah another job job does they say <laughs>